Good morning, everybody, to a new week of morning meetings. I'm going to let you guys know we're going to follow this agenda this week. There's a lot of phone calls coming to help you navigate or get through some of the other things that we have going with some more online schooling. That way I could see really where you're at. Uh, make sure you're doing all your work. It's really, really important. Students and parents, you've got to check in for attendance. If you're not attending school, it's just like you're absent from school if you're coming to the classroom. So make sure you're doing your videos. Morning meeting is super important. We'll be getting some phone calls today from me to your parents, letting you know these are really going to be an important factor. So with that said, today we're going to just follow this. Uh, this week we're going to follow this schedule. Next week's going to look a little different. But don't worry, we got this. So we're going to do our morning meeting. Go ahead and get your pen and your whiteboard ready. And read that sentence up there together, starting with the right here, left to right, always reading that way. Ready? Today, Monday, April. Great job. Here's some of the jobs that we're going to be doing today. Uh, our reading passage is a full tank of fish. We're going to be marking the text on that one. We're going to go through our morning meeting. Math days 19 through 20. Letter Y. Got a few things to talk about. And your scavenger hunt pieces, you guys. You have to watch morning meeting to get to them. So I'm. it's not going to be at the end. I'm just going to remind you, go through your morning meeting because it's someplace in the middle. I'm going to show you some things you might need. Okay. So we are going to start off with our morning meeting. Today's date. You guys got this pretty well. Remember if you're not quite sure you have all those tools that tell you the month, the date, the, oops, the year to help you figure out your code. So our first one is using this one like this. This year months. We need to find the month of April. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Great. What's the secret code starting? Perfect. It's going to be a four. Now look in the rest of the data that we have right here. What do you know how many days are gone in the month of April? Did you find it in the data? What about the year? Great, so you found the 27 and we found the year 2020. Now some of you might just be drawing the 20 and that's okay. I'm gonna take our agenda away for today and get going on our morning meeting page. Okay, today's number, what is today's number? Check the data you just wrote. This one means how many days are gone. If you're not writing it, say it to whoever's sitting with you or say it out loud. Cool, 27. Remember, that's a big number. We've been working with that 20 word with a hyphen. That's that little dash. And then adding the 7 or the 6 or the 5, whatever information's here. Okay. From left to right, we're going to go over to tally it. So we're going to go from left to right. Go over to tally it. You're going to tally 27. I know it's not fast for everybody. You could do bundles of 5. Or 27 and fix the bundles later. I'm going to put mine on pause. You put yours on pause. Go ahead and do that job. Okay, welcome back. So it could look something like I've done in the tallyets. You can count by fives in there if you want. Five, ten, 
15, 20, 25, 26, 27. Okay, you're going to fall down, move all the way over to the left. We're going to go over here to place it. We're going to see how many ones, tens, and hundreds are in the number 27. I'm going to put mine on pause. We've been doing this. See if you can figure out where the ones are, where the tens are, are there any hundreds. Come back when you're ready. Okay, if you have something like this, you are absolutely correct. There are seven ones, two tens, and there are no hundreds in that number up there. Okay, again, from left to right, move over to frame it. Now, frame is not working with bundles of five. It's working with groups of ten. So you can look over here in your place it, and you're going to figure out how many ten frames you need. How many full 10 frames do you need? I mean, there's the 10. Now how many 10s do you need? And how many are going to be left over? That means it's got not going to be a full 10 frame. How many 10 frames do you need? How many be left over? Okay, go ahead and pause. Do that job and come back when you're ready. Okay, welcome back. Now check out what we have here in our 10 frame. Our 10 frame here, it says in our place it, we need two groups of 10. This is a group of 10. This is a group of 10. Do we have two? One, two, yes. So we've done this job here. What's left over? Great, seven. So we have to put seven in a box. Is it full? It is not. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It still needs to get more in there to be full. Okay, go ahead and jump down. Move all the way to your left for before and after. The number in the middle is going to be today's number. So if you ever forget, it's whatever's in this box goes in this box. <clears throat> what comes after what comes before however you want to do that is perfectly fine <clears throat> we're going to jump back up here to name it I'm going to put the word 20 in there that is a tricky word you push that dash out and then the other number that we need is seven. Now this is a little tricky. I know it can get kind of squishy. Don't worry about it. Your pins are a little smaller than mine, so it might work a little better. Okay, this is your job to do. This is your job to do. I'm gonna do one down here. And today I think I'm going to do just a really nice addition. So when I looked up here in my tallies, uh, that's not really clean and simple today. So I'm going to go clean and simple today. I know I have one, two groups of 10, which is how much? Counted by tens, 10, 20. Great. So I'm going to do 20. Those are my groups of 10. I'm going to add them. And how many more am I going to have? Seven. How much is that going to equal? Remember, these guys go together. So zero plus seven is, keep it in the ones, it's seven. Oops, sorry. Zero plus seven equals seven. Keep it in that one space. Does two have a partner over here? Nope. So she just moves over all by herself. 27. Okay. So it, we're going to move on over to our reading, a full tank of fish. We're just going to mark our text. Go ahead and join us over there when you're ready. 
Welcome back everybody. Always remember to put your name on the top of every paper that you're working on. And all we are going to do today is right up here. We're just going to mark the text. The title. We're going to find out how many sentences we have. Mark all the words that you know. Any math words that you might know. And then we'll move on to this the rest of the week. Just mark your text. See if you could read it to somebody. That's the job here today. Once you've done all that, go ahead and jump over to your letter packet when you're ready. Okay, so here we are. We are over in our letters. We're almost complete. We're at letter X. So we're going to work on the capital and the lowercase. Just remember, just because there are different styles, different um, writings of it, an X is an X. It's still going to make the sound X. Doesn't matter if it's capital or lowercase. Now remember, we've been saying these are really easy. I don't have to practice these. You do. Because the easier they are, sometimes the sloppy, sloppier they become. So we're going to go over to the capital X. Now these guys are just sliders. They start up here at the skyline and they slide down to the grass line and then the same on this side. So let's go ahead and try that to get together. Skyline, grass line. Go back up and you're going to slide the other way. Skyline, grass line for an X. Independent, slide, back up then slide. See, even I didn't get it all the way in the middle. Let me try that again. Slide. And it's tricky. You gotta have your eyeballs ready for it. That looks better. Same thing with our lowercase, only we start on the plain line to grass line. Plain line to grass line. Again, plain line to grass line. Slide those legs out. Go ahead and go down here, color your pictures, read those words the best you can, do the tracing. Finding words that start with X that we would know all the time is a little tricky, but I do know some of you guys have played Xbox before. So we'll add that one. Finding letter or words that start with the letter X is a little tricky. No worries. All right. When you're finished with that, remember, make sure and do three or four on your own on both. And then meet me over. Meet me over on math days. Hey, in my beginning part, I did say we we're doing Y, but we had to do X first. My apologies, friends. All right, so meet me over in math days 19 and 20. Okay, welcome over here to math. Guys, I know this math is quite easy. No worries. We got some stuff coming that's going to challenge you a little bit more. But for right now, this week, please challenge yourself. Just challenge yourselves. This is going to be over here. We're going to be doing subtraction. So if you're looking at that word when you're marking your checks, that's subtraction. You could do subtraction a couple different ways. You can just use your fingers, use some counters, or if you want to use the guys that they have right here, I always pair them up. So this guy is going to take this guy out. This guy is going to take that guy out. This guy is going to take that guy out. Who's left? And do the same on the other side. Practicing your 19. Remember, you're going to come from the skyline to grass line all the way down. There's a couple different ways to do your nine. Some people just stay here between the skyline and grass line and kind of make that loop and then pull their tall back all the way down to the grass. It's totally fine. Find your numbers. Okay. 
They can look a little tricky. And at the bottom, color the shapes with four sides. Make sure you're challenging up here, doing an adding problem. How about a multiplication with what's left over? How about a parts problem? How about a fraction? How many did you start with? How many did we use? Over here, we started with five. How many did we use? We used three. There's gonna be leftovers, I know, because this is what's gonna be left over. But we're taking away three out of five parts. We're taking three out of five parts. If you move on over to day 20, remember you gotta find those all ist sh or tist and do the number 20 little hook up here at the skyline zip it on down to the grass line and kick it out and you start with that O from the top of the skyline give it a little curve to the grass line curve back up same thing down here. Make sure you're looking for those 20s. And what numbers are missing in between? Okay. So I know that's all we have on this part of our morning meeting. I'll show you a couple of other things before we get on to one more idea. We have a really cool uh, scavenger hunt this week. So you don't need all of this. These are going to be different types of musical instruments. So if you want to make one that has uses straws, bring straws you might need a towel or toilet paper roll holder either one will work you may need some rubber bands paper plates I'm gonna make a video that you'll find up on Tuesday with different musical instruments that you can make with some of these pieces. So think about which one that you're wanting to use for tomorrow and then by Friday have your musical instrument done. I know I was going to say I was going to sneak that in there someplace but we get working so hard in our morning meeting I just forget. Alright everybody so check your schedules I know if we didn't do the letter X um, last week, I'll do Y tomorrow and we'll do Z. We'll finish those out. Most of the other schedules are going to be fine. Wait for those phone calls. It's going to look a little different. No worries. All right, guys. Until next time, have an amazing day. Check out YouTube videos. Make sure you're getting on there. Make sure you're reading. I've uh, asked parents to upload Epic uh, books so you can start doing all that reading there. You're going to be getting AR um, information so you can start taking tests. I don't know how that's going to look, but we're going to work on it together, everybody. Happy Monday. Have a great start of your week. See you tomorrow.